Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. I am already feeling a lot of energy coming through this reading video today. The first message that really wanted to come out, and this was actually a download I received prior to starting this reading, and it's that someone I'm picking up on here has made a really powerful energetic shift within themselves. Now, I don't have details yet as to how you accomplished this shift, although with Journey at the bottom of the deck in the reverse position, I could see this representing a coming home to the self, reconnecting with yourself. So I feel that someone I'm picking up on here has done some kind of self-reconnection work, whether this has been really uncovering some dream that you used to have for yourself and beginning to pursue it again, whether this is just refocusing some of your time, energy, or attention back on yourself. I just keep hearing that you've done something energetically. There's been a shift that is being felt in the quantum field. Now, when I talk about the quantum field, I am referring to this giant web of collective consciousness that we are all energetically tied into. We are all actually telepathic in the sense that we communicate with each other much more with our energy than with our words. And you can see evidence of this even in small instances like when you're thinking about someone and then they call you right away. That is you psychically and telepathically picking up on a signal from that person and then seeing the evidence of that signal through that physical phone call that comes through. Well, in this instance, I feel as though you have done something, you've made some kind of shift that is sending out this ripple of energy so that anyone who is connected to you in the quantum field, meaning they consciously know you or recognize your energy, they recognize your energy signature and can put a face and name to it because you've either spoken to them or interacted with them. Even in a past life, these could be souls that you have another life connection to. They are feeling this energy shift and responding to it. And this is a bit of a side message for someone, but I heard for someone as well that someone is talking about you. Now, I don't have details yet on who this person is. This could be different depending on you and your circumstances. This also could, could be multiple people for some of you. So this isn't necessarily even just one person. So I'm going to use that as a starting point. But before we get into the reading, I also want to say that I channel many different people, situations, and connections throughout these readings, so I always recommend listening to your own intuition above all else. Only take the messages if and how they connect with you personally. It's really my goal through these readings to reconnect you with that intuitive voice within yourself because that is really where where all of the answers are. All of the answers are within you. All of the power is within you. And it's really just my goal to help you confirm to yourself some of what you already know intuitively. If you would like to transmit your energy in a more powerful way to the reading, I also recommend liking the video and subscribing to the channel as this is a form of energy transfer. I just saw the number 444 and that energetic transfer does tend to allow me to pick up more easily on your energy and channel more specifically for you. 
So I feel like many different potential people connected to you are going to be coming through this reading. With that being said, take the messages or the people coming up that resonate with you and leave the rest here. Now with the number 444, in love, this can really represent a sign of wholeness within yourself when it comes to love, finding stability and harmony within. So for some of you listening, that may actually be the shift that you've been making in yourself. You have been finding that stability and harmony within yourself we have the two of wands energy coming up here as well. And with that two symbolism, I really see those two building blocks of nature, energetically speaking, the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And combined with that message on coming back home to yourself that came up at the very beginning and that message of wholeness, I feel as though the energy shift you are making within yourself is coming into very profound inner harmony, wholeness, stability within. I keep hearing inner child healing. So for someone specifically that I am tuned into here, I'm hearing you're making your inner child's dreams come true. So take that as it resonates. But I feel as though you may be someone who has always been a big dreamer, a visionary, and maybe there were people around you growing up who couldn't see your dreams or visions and therefore couldn't support them emotionally or even materially if you were very young. And this may have caused you over time to learn some self-rejection of those dreams that you had as a child that you are now unraveling. You are healing that inner child through believing in yourself, supporting yourself. Specifically, I keep hearing something about like a lost dream or or supporting dreams that you may have had when you were younger that are now coming back up to the surface to be revisited. So with the two of wands as well, this card's affirmation literally says, I give myself permission to dream big. So there may be a fantastical or kind of daydreaming element to some of these dreams that you're revisiting. You may find that you have this kind of grand idea of what you want your ideal life to look like or something that you want to manifest the essence of, but it might just be that, an essence, a kind of idea and you may not really have yet the concrete steps on how to get there. And I'm hearing a very clear message from your guides to not allow the fact that you don't have these exact concrete steps towards that dream to prevent you from continuing to move forward one small step one small intuitively guided step at a time, one day at a time. In fact, that might even be a good mantra for you at this time, one step at a time, one day at a time, because I feel as though even though you can't see the grander picture of how all of those steps are going to come together, as you continue to bravely step forward in the direction of this revisited dream, you are going to see and sense this pulling power around you that begins to manifest powerful signs and evidence that you're on the right track. I've been really feeling guided to potentially do a video sometime on signs that you're on the right path or signs that you're really in alignment with the universe when it comes to some dream goal or idea, signs that it's beginning to manifest because for many of you tuned in here, you're going to see those more spiritual signs and synchronicities before the physical evidence fully shows up and it is so important to allow your yourself to celebrate those what might appear on the surface to be small wins or victories because they are not small. They're actually very powerful indicators of you being well on your way to manifesting this really grand, magnificent vision of your life. So with the attachment card in the upright position, 
I'm also seeing that you making these positive shifts and changes within yourself, whatever you're doing, something that you're doing is triggering a lot of different reactions in the quantum field. So I spoke on the quantum field earlier, that web of collective consciousness. Well, some of that is extremely positive, that reaction that you're getting energetically from others. It is causing people to talk about you, to wonder about you. And I will channel more into that later in the reading, but it is also triggering a bit of a negative reaction from certain others as well. And I'm picking up a strong message that you are someone who is incredibly energetically sensitive. You're very empathic. So when someone reacts to you, even without speaking to you or saying anything to your face, you're actually able to feel that reaction and it may give you a little bit of an uneasy feeling and almost make you think, I'm hearing, should I just shut it all down? Should I close it all down? wondering if that uneasy feeling is your intuition telling you to quit or to stop or to backtrack. And I'm getting to be very cautious about what is yours and what is a projected reaction from someone else, because you're going to have to have a lot of bravery when it comes to manifesting your dreams, goals, and desires in life. You are someone who incarnated here with a very grand vision and therefore you are going to be very polarizing meaning you are going to attract equally strong positive and negative reactions from others depending on their own level of consciousness because of what you are illuminating within them i do feel that if you continue on this path of manifesting this dream goal or vision or taking these steps, it doesn't have to be a specific vision that you're manifesting. This could just be steps that you're taking to heal or shift yourself energetically. First of all, know that it is working. If you've aligned with this video and you've had some new dream or vision, or you've been guided to just shift your energy or heal yourself in a new way, and you've been wondering, am I on the right track or is this actually helping? Is this working? Is this happening? This is a very strong resounding yes for you. I'm also picking up that there may be people even in your circle that might be a little bit triggered because of the way that you're changing. Now, for some of you, this may be something you've already gone through in the past. There may be people around you who aren't necessarily trying to pull you down or be toxic. It's just that they are living bound up in fear of change. And they seem to be people who might have been in your life for a very long time. This could be family members. This could be longtime friends. These are people who know you extremely well, and they are simply very comfortable and familiar with the way that you've been. And I'm hearing that as you are going about redefining yourself or carving out a new identity for yourself, one that is highly abundant and free with the abundance card coming up here, you are going to trigger certain people around you who might be very familiar with the old version of you. And you can't allow their triggered feelings to cause you to double back and try to shrink yourself back into that outdated version of yourself because of course in the long term that will only lead to a restriction of your own freedom that will ultimately create resentment in these bonds and connections and actually most people on planet earth are living in those kinds of conditionally loving sorts of connections where they expect each other to be a certain way and if someone wants to dream or grow or expand beyond that given identity it's like they're breaking the conditions of that transactional connection and this can lead the other to react negatively which causes the person that wanted to grow to decide to stay small for the sake of the relationship but then in sacrificing themselves this creates resentment which further entrenches the codependent bond and this can go on for a long time but i'm getting that your connections aren't like that 
Yes, you might have some people that have been in your life for a long time who are going to be a little triggered by this new version of you, but I'm getting that you are someone who carries a very free energy. You value your freedom to the nth degree, to a very high level. And because of that, you have a very small inner circle, most likely, and also people who desire to stay in your life long term have to be okay with adapting to new versions of you because I'm hearing you are constantly shedding your skin, your layers, metaphorically speaking. You don't just go through one ego death or one kind of spiritual metamorphosis. You are someone who is constantly upgrading, constantly leveling up yourself. And that is actually one of the most beautiful things about your energy with the card. There's something better. You are always upgrading your energy, your emotions, your life, your situation in life. You're always expanding that vision for yourself. So those people who desire to have the privilege of being connected to you are going to have to be able to adapt to that ever-changing, ever-evolving identity that you are, that you are constantly recreating and redefining. Now, again, there may be some people who with this recent level up are feeling a little unfamiliar or even uncomfortable with this new version of you, but I'm getting that you are also going to inspire those same people. So on the other side of that, those who are triggered by you leveling up are actually bound up in fear within themselves. They are afraid of their own growth and expansion. And when you choose to recreate yourself, redefine yourself, pursue some kind of dream or goal, even if others may be temporarily triggered by it, in a sense, you are giving permission to others to free themselves as well. And you are carving out pathways energetically that others are going to be able to follow. I'm hearing breaking generational curses, and that's very fitting because we also have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position. This is the second traditional tarot card to come out. And what I'm seeing here is, whoa, we had another card fly out from the Energy Oracle, and this is the Cornucopia. So there's a lot of abundance around you, but there is also a lot of digging really deep and healing these core aspects of yourself that other people haven't been willing to face within themselves or possibly within a generational line. I keep getting this message that you are breaking generational curses that your forebears were unable to break themselves. This could be a parent, this could be a grandparent, and of course, I truly believe that everyone is doing the best that they can, so I'm not at all putting down any of those forebears that came before you in your ancestral line, but I feel like you are healing patterns that they were unable to break or to heal within themselves. And I'm hearing you are breaking the chain. And this also means with strategy reversed, that while you are coming into this very beautiful, empowering energy represented by the cornucopia card, this is the magic card, 1111. This is synchronicity, manifestation. You are learning how to manifest, how to empower yourself to create the life of your dreams. But in the process, you're also doing a lot of really deep, raw, ragged, emotional work at that core level, meaning you are diving into those limitations, those limiting belief systems that kept people in your family line in the past from being able to manifest or attract certain things into their life, whether that was healthy, loving relationships, healthy finances, a happy work situation, just a happy life, a fulfilled life in general. 
Now, because you came to earth at this time to break so many generational curses inherently, your life is looking very unique. And there may be a lot of people who don't understand this very unique life that you're living. But once again, the temple path card sitting on the crown chakra, the most spiritually divinely connected chakra center is really standing out here over and over. Like this is the dominant card. You being aligned with your highest path. You being on the so-called right path here for you. This very powerful sign of confirmation. And I feel like that's coming through because someone may have come to this reading really simply just needing to know that message. Like, yes, you might feel at times like, there's an uneasiness because you're pursuing certain dreams or goals that no one around you or before you has pursued. Yes, there may be people who have triggered reactions to how you are living your life or how you are redefining your life or yourself. Yes, your life might look very unique to other people and because they don't understand your unique path, they might judge it at times. You might even find yourself judging yourself at times for how different your life looks from others. But know this, you are on the right track here. You are onto something extremely powerful. So... I'm also seeing with the community card, there's something else here about your social circle. I did say that certain people may be triggered around you, but I'm also getting that you actually might be attracting in a brand new community. Not to say that these other people that have been in your life a long time won't be in your life anymore, but I feel like you are going to be leveling up your social circle or your intimate connections in the sense that you following this path of really allowing yourself to redefine yourself, to live this unique life, it's emanating a very powerful, authentic signal into the quantum realm, which is actually your core soul frequency without all those levels and layers of programming and self-judgment and limiting belief systems you're emanating a very pure, authentic signal of who you really are at this time. And that is going to be attracting in a new community around you, whether this is people that you are connecting with virtually online, new people that you are meeting or dating or romantically connecting with, new friendships that are forming. It just feels like this bright, beautiful new phase of your life where the social outlets are going to be different because they're going to be connecting with that really authentic signal that you are emanating. And they're going to be very much aligned with this new version of you and this upgraded life. I keep hearing that something about your lifestyle is being upgraded or is going to be upgraded as well. So you may come into more abundance, a different work situation, a new home, a new place of living, a new daily routine. I just feel like something about your day-to-day -day lifestyle is going to be materially or physically upgraded in some way. This may come through you independently doing something that really upgrades your mindset, your emotions, your skill set with the thinking woman upright. I feel like these upgrades somehow come through your mind or like something powerful that you have to offer or you creating more independence for yourself. I know that's a few different types of things. I know this will look differently from person to person. I'm also getting butterflies might be a powerful symbol for you at this time. Now, I'm going to be reshuffling the cards. I'm hearing that whenever you see a butterfly, it's symbolic of the transformations you've gone through in order to achieve the freedom that you've now attained. I also really want to read the affirmation on the Ten of Pentacles reverse card when it comes to healing those generational curses. The card here says, I act to heal the trauma of my forebears and set a better precedent for the future. So that may connect with someone in a really deep way as well. Now, I will say that we also have the Nine of Cups here. 
This is about someone finally beginning to really know and lock into their sense of worth and that knowingness of your worth really beginning to reflect in your physical life in a very powerful way. This is actually speaking to that lifestyle upgrade that I was talking about. If this isn't something that you are experiencing now, know that as you walk along this path, this is something that you're calling in in a big way. And these physical upgrades, so to speak, are directly correlated to your own sense of your worth and value and also maintaining that freedom that you've achieved. I am picking up that as others admire and see your growth and see your energy. I almost see someone like catching butterflies. This is a bit of a strange message, but be cautious of those who admire you and see your value, but want to like keep you all to themselves or kind of like entrap you in a sense to kind of possess or to own you because your freedom is what makes you so radiant, so magnetic. And sometimes someone who is feeling insecure within themselves will really lock on to your energy as they see you in that freedom and in that radiance and they will want to entrap you and kind of possess you for themselves. And it's really important that you keep your eyes open to that and allow yourself to maintain that sense of freedom and that sense of self-worth and independence emotionally and materially, whatever that means for you. And then to connect from that place of stability rather than being someone else's bridge to their own self-connectedness. Yeah, because goddess of the moon reversed, I see it's almost like there might be someone coming up here. This could be a romantic situation where someone wants to kind of they really want to be in a relationship or a connection with you. This may be a friendship, but for many of you, I'm getting this may be romantic. But whoever this person is, for whoever this is relating to, they may not have necessarily ill intentions, but it almost feels as though they are struggling with insecurity or a sense of vulnerability. So it's like they see you glowing, thriving, radiant, and it's almost like you are that butterfly that they want to capture. It's like they want to attain you for themselves. And I'm getting that you are really again valuing your freedom above all else i'm not saying of course that you don't have relationships or connections or won't have these in the future it's just that even within those connections you always maintain a sense of stability freedom and self-worth now what else can i channel for the beautiful souls tuned into this reading this has been such a unique reading by the way guys thank you for contributing your own powerful frequency because of course all of the videos on this channel are joint co-creations by all of us here and for those of you who are new i do channel these collective readings every monday wednesday and friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I do recommend tuning in for those times and days if you do want to experience the powerful, really upgrading kind of energy during those readings, particularly with the live chat feature during the live premiere of the readings. Okay, so right here towards the very end of this reading we have man holding a coin upright an awakening masculine energy or a divine masculine and also the crown chakra card representing a very powerful spiritual connection so i haven't picked up strongly on the energetic polarities thus far in the reading the divine masculine or divine feminine but if you are a divine feminine listening, I 
sense that there is a masculine or divine masculine who shares a very powerful soul connection to you, who has really been sending a lot of energetic information to your crown chakra, meaning the two of you have really been connecting either in dreams, in the 5D. There's been an activation of this spiritual connection here. This person is well into an awakening They've had their eyes open to many things is what I'm picking up on here. And in the extended version of this reading, I will be diving very deep into this particular connection to this masculine energy, what they are thinking or feeling how they are connected to you spiritually. We'll see if we can figure out what kind of connection this is to identify it, as well as how this particular connection or situation might be progressing. In that extended reading, I will also be channeling more messages from your higher self or spirit guides, whatever divine forces you personally connect with. And of course, we will be channeling into any other details or pieces of information that want to come through the reading including my favorite part of the extended readings where we look at who or what might be energetically connected to you at this time so thinking of you or sending you energy talking about you etc so if you are feeling guided to any of that in the extended reading you can join our beautiful soul tribe on patreon by following the link in the pinned comments or description box under this video to close out this first reading here on YouTube, I'm going to channel one final message from Rumi. And this message is, I surge on the uprising wave of love. So I'm just going to be reading a little bit from the guidebook. What we always have at our disposal is choice as to how we respond to these effective movements and cycles. The effect of this karmic cycle now unfolding in your life is to bring you into sweet surrender and awakening into greater love. What a delicious divine destiny. However, even if we sense at one level that a shift has a positive end in store for us, we can encounter resistance and fear born of the ego in response to the stirring of spiritual uprising. The disorder, however, is the ego perspective because its range of vision is too small, too limited to comprehend the greater workings of the planetary systems that move life towards love. And how terrifying when we are actually thrown into the ocean and moved by it. Your heart is more powerful than your fear, and it wants to live in total trusting surrender of the unfoldment of life's genius. It wants let to let life happen to it. What a wise intention that is. So that feels like a really wonderful message to close this reading. Again, if you do want to join me now in the extended version of this reading on Patreon, the link to that is under the video. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love. Have a magnificent remainder of your day and weekend, and I will connect with you here again in Monday's reading.